Now then, we started the show this morning by revealing that we had a very near miss with a pre-recorded interview. Uh, earlier we met Sadian Collin, who recently completed a tandem bike ride from John O'Groats to Land's End, a journey of nearly 900 miles raised over £5,000 for charity, but they did it completely naked. Well, when we recorded them cycling in this morning, we got a little bit more than we bargained for, and you nearly did too. But thanks to the quick work of our graphics and edit department, here's the PG version. Good morning, you two. Welcome to this Good morning. morning. How lovely to see you. <laughs> uh, thank you both for, for coming in. I mean, thank that is much. an amazing achievement. 900 miles. Yeah. Uh, A thousand over, miles. Uh, yeah. Over, pardon? A thousand miles. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Over five hundred, five thousand yeah. uh, pounds in 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 money raised for two very good charities. Yeah. So you've got um, Mind yeah. and also Rewilding, Rewilding Britain, Britain, which is incredible. Yeah. Uh, that in itself, interview worthy. Yeah. Why naked? Well, a few reasons. So, um, uh, over the years, we've both taken part in the World Naked Bike Ride. I right. don't know if you've heard of that. It's a big, massive one in yep. London every year. Yep. And it's a lot of fun. And we kind of enjoy doing that. And obviously, that's going to get a lot of attention for the charities. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, that's. So it's all that, for a good cause. It's all for a good cause. And it's good fun. And know. it is good fun. And, Sadie, yeah. for you, you so you get a great reaction. Like when all of you are together, when you take part yeah. in one of those big events, people are very friendly and it's all yeah. very nice. But you've now taken this one step further and you do it yeah. just, just the two of you. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. I yeah. actually get quite a bit of social anxiety, which I pretty much dissipates when I'm naked, so, yeah. 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 I'm doing stuff like this, you know, yeah. I would have never done that. <laughs> you, um, yeah, you married, uh, someone going past there in a truck that was very interesting. Yep. <laughs> um, so, you, uh, you are a couple. Yeah. Um, brilliantly, you met on a foraging course. Yes, yeah. Um, <laughs> and so, yeah. whose idea was it to do this big charity ride? It was kind of joint, wasn't it, yeah. really? Um, every point, yeah. 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 <laughs> I, I, I teach while mushroom foraging. Um, and during the pandemic, everybody was kind of locked at home and just out on little local walks when everybody kind of discovered the values of the, yeah. of the nature around them. Yeah. And we kind of thought, well, taking that forward, and there's a big, there's a lot of discussion about mental health coming out of that period of history. And, yeah. um, and we kind of saw on the rewilding website, it says, think big. At Wild, where well, there's no bigger bike ride and there's no wilder way to no, do it, no, is there? No, certainly is not. <laughs> I mean, I've got to ask you, because, you know, we've all been on bikes, yeah. whether that's frequently yeah. or infrequently. I've been out bike riding with you. You've been yeah. out bike riding with yeah. me. The seat can you be... You said, put your clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> the seat can be a little uncomfortable at the best of times. Oh. When you're naked, I mean, it must... Is that a chafing? I mean, is yeah. that an issue? We've got these lovely merino, merino yeah. sheepskin saddle covers that were made for us bespoke, and it's actually wonderful. Mm. As soon as we put clothes on and cover up, that's when the chafing starts. Yeah. <laughs> you, uh, you had a great reaction from everybody, Absolutely. which is yeah. lovely. Yeah. But yeah. what happens when you get off the bike yeah. and park it yeah. up and yeah. then go in for lunch? Yeah, and go somewhere for lunch. Um, sometimes some of the places are fine with it and they sort of say, yeah, come in, you're fine as you are. But what we always carried in our in my little bar bag that I had, or say this saddle bag, is a sarong. So we'd just wrap a sarong round us and, and, right. and kind of cover up. And, uh, ah, and, well, listen, uh, good for you. Well done, and well done on raising all that money for charity. That is yeah, brilliant. Enjoy. Fantastic. Thank, thank you. Lovely. Thank you for having us on. Is there another one planned? Are you doing something else? Hopefully, yeah. We're going to plan something. I'm not sure what yet. It might be a long-distance paddleboard or something like that. Yeah. So, yeah. Maybe down the Thames. <laughs> well, keep it, we'll we'll watch you go in part. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a wave. Thank you, Thank you. Oh, I'm glad we managed to get that. Oh, yeah, together. me too. I mean, it's a fantastic, perfect opening. Fantastic emoji. Well done. The, um, you've raised a very good point, though. Like, is, is it legal? Well, because I thought um, we didn't have time to ask it at the, at the beginning. Um, and, um, and you think, right, OK, so immediately you look at it and think indecent exposure. Yeah, somebody does, walks into a pub it has with no, their clothes it's on. No, it's no, not in any way a sexual thing. It's, it's a, a nature. Na natural thing. Yeah. It's a naturist thing. So, you know, it, it, is, it falls outside. Listen, of how often do we talk about people not having body confidence? Yeah. And they are just sat there like we need a little bit of that. I am taking my kit off and walking down Wood Lane on the way home today. <laughs> Everyone get your camera phones. We come off there at 12.30. Phil will be there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you to them as well and also well done because that's, uh, that's a lot of money for two very good charities. Yeah.